Hello, welcome to lesson two of our introduction to computer science. This is Brett, and today we're going to continue on with the lesson from last time and write our first C program. If you remember last time we talked about the process of writing and running software it consisted of a programmer entering code into a text editor. We compile that, we link it, and then we run it, and we get some type of a result. So today I want to just go through that process and what that looks like in real life, how you do that, um, and what it feels like to do that. So the first thing you'll need is a text editor, which I have here on the right, the Atom text editor. And you'll need a terminal window, which is here on the left. Uh, I open the terminal window in Mac by going to Finder and typing in Terminal. Uh, yours will probably open up like this and be white uh, with black text here. I have a different setup here so you can see it easier and the font is a little bit bigger, but it's really the same thing. If you're on Windows, you'll need to uh, search for a tutorial online on how to download SIGWIN and set up the C compiler. Uh, I don't have a Windows machine to show you how to do that, so there are a lot of different tutorials out there which explain that. And if you happen to be on Linux, uh, this is all it's pretty much the same as Mac. So to begin, we need to uh, make sure the compiler is installed. And so to do that, we in uh, Mac, we type in xcode-select-install. Dash 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 and that will run through and install what are called the command line tools for OS X. Uh, that'll take a little bit, but I already have them installed, so it, it tells me I don't need to worry about it. But it should install those. It takes a little bit of time. But once that's up and running, you're ready to go. So on the left here in my command line, I have already navigated to a folder on my desktop. Uh, well, actually a folder called Users Brett Code Dev Nano Computer Science. And if I list out the contents of that folder, I have nothing in there yet. On the right, I have Atom. So I'm going to go and create a new file. And I'm going to save that file right away and just call it ex1.c. So by saving that, if I do another ls in my terminal, you'll see I have a file here called ex1.c. And this is my first C uh, program, or my first C file. Now, as I go through coding this, there's a lot of concepts in here, and I'm not going to explain all the concepts. That will be in future lessons. But for now, I just want you to follow along with the code and get the process of making, um, making the code compile and then running the code. So to start, we'll type in int main void, and then these two uh, curly braces, and then return zero. And this is the most basic C program that we can write. Uh, this is a function, and everything inside of this function, inside these curly braces, will get executed. So in the terminal here, I can type make ex1, and that's the name of my file. You'll see it went through the, the process of compiling and linking the file. And it's given me a new executable file that the computer can run. So to run that, I'll type in period forward slash ex1. And that ran the file. Now there was nothing in here to actually run. We just returned from our function. But it did run without any errors. So the next thing we'll do is something a little bit more exciting. And we'll print hello world out to the screen. So I type in print f hello world, and then remember that we need this, uh, this semicolon here, so make sure to type it exactly as I have it. And then at the top, above this, uh, above your function here, we'll type in uh, hash include standard io.h. So we'll save that. We'll come over to our terminal here. We'll type in make ex1 again, and then we'll type in the executable, the code to execute it, and you'll see it printed out hello world. Now coming back here, we'll, we'll type something out. Uh, we'll ask a question. What is your age? Save that. Make ex1. So recompile the file. Oops, print f. make ex1, it recompiled it. Now we execute it again and we see, hello world, what is your age? Now they're all on the same line, which I don't like, so I need to come and add in here a new line character. So save that, recompile using make ex1, re-execute the file, 
hello world, what is your age? So we are going to uh, write some code that will ask, that will actually capture the age. And again, don't worry what this is all doing, just make sure you type it in exactly as I have it. Uh, and it should all work, but I want you to just get a feel of what it's like to to program and type in code and get it running. So, so we're going to type in your age is, and then we'll pass it the age. So everything is saved. Now we can make ex1 again, and it looks like I have a number of errors. Oh, I typed in print again, I keep doing that. It's print F, not print. Uh, make EX1, EX1. What is your age? 35, your age is 35. So what our computer program did uh, here is, in summary, we've declared this variable called age, which is an integer. We printed out to the screen, hello, uh, hello world. And then we printed out to the screen, what is your age? And then we waited for an input, and we assigned the value that they gave us to this variable called age, and then we printed out your age is, and then we gave it our variable to tell what to type in there. So this follows along really this process of programming, compiling, and then running, and then we see the results. So that wraps up lesson two. Make sure you've gone through that. We'll explain more in detail what's happening with that code, and we'll continue to learn some concepts, but uh, that should get you started with your first program in C. So congratulations, you've written a program in C. Pretty amazing. So we'll uh, see you in lesson three.